of the Muslim, only become a father of the Muslim. After the age of 19, when I started studying about comparative religion, now I'm a Muslim by choice. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel, guys. You guys are really really amazing and thank you so much for getting us to 12,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing, super, super, super amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are just the greatest, man. Anyway, so today we're gonna do another reaction video, and this one right here has been suggested by a lot of people. Like, to be honest, so many people have been suggesting on this video right here. So today we're gonna do a video, and the title goes Chirag asked Dr. Zakir Naik, because you were born in a Muslim family, you are endorsed Islam. So that's the title of the video so without any further ado guys let's get it good evening everyone and good evening dr nayak today i am a human speaking on behalf of humanity now dr nayak since you were let me have your name please. yeah i am please. chirag and please don't ask my religion <laughs> dr nayak since you were born, maybe in a Muslim family, you were prescribed with your religion. Now, that is why today you are endorsing it maybe. If you would have been born in a Hindu family, it could have been possible that today this religion would have been on Hinduism. This, I feel, is an extreme case of ethnocentrism, wherein you feel your religion, culture, beliefs and ideas are supreme. That is why you said that Sikhism or Arya Samaj or whatever religion that abandons idol worship is supported by you too. According to me, we should be discussing a larger religion of humanity and not keep juggling here. Any comments or justification, sir? Very good question. He says that because I was born in a Muslim family, that's the reason I'm endorsing Islam. Maybe if I was born in a Hindu family, I would be endorsing Hinduism and I'm supporting Arya Samaj and Sikhism because it matches my view and I'm juggling around. I should rather speak about broader aspects. Very good question. Yes. Brother, I agree with you. Till the age of 19, I was a Muslim only because my father was a Muslim. After the age of 19, when I started studying about comparative religion, now I am a Muslim by choice. And believe me, if you can point out any other religion to me better than Islam, I am ready to accept that religion today. Today. Sir, I am endorsing the religion of humanity. Brother, I'll come to it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come to it. Yeah. I'm telling anyone, prove to me logically, scientifically, any other religion better than Islam, I am ready to accept it. You're telling, you're talking about humanity. Who wrote this religion, humanity? Mahatma Gandhi? Who wrote it? You know, a Muslim cannot be a good Muslim unless he's a good human being. That no. every religion says, every brother, religion says... Brother, let me complete my answer. Yes, sir. Are you here to hear my answer or are you here to give your views? I would like to have a healthy discussion and reach brother, to a logical conclusion. This is not a debate session. Not at all. I never said... So listen to my answer. <laughs> After my answer, you can give your comments. Okay, please. Let me finish my answer. Keep on interjecting. Let me... You listen to my answer. Carry on. Listen carefully. Yeah. Something is going... Mahabharata is going in your mind. How will you listen? When you, when you read out your question, did I interrupt? Please carry on. Did I interrupt? You, you did not. Please so carry on. Everything writing down, coming, asking question. <laughs> I am I'm giving yeah. the reply. Listen. Listen yeah, my that's reply. Right. I'm listening. So why are you commenting? Please carry on, sir. Please justify. Tell me your answer. If you listen to my answer, you'll understand. Otherwise, all this more than 100,000 people will understand, yet you'll have the same question. I'm a medical doctor. A person can't concentrate on two different things. Listen to the answer. After the answer, oh, no problem. 
But what if you realize you're talking about humanity? First you said, don't ask my religion. Then you're saying, I am endorsing humanity. First of all, you're ashamed to identify your view. Then you're talking about humanity. I'm asking the question, who wrote this book called Humanity? Is there any book? Is there any guidelines of humanity? I'm telling you, a Muslim cannot be a Muslim until he's a good human being. Every religion doesn't say that. I'm sorry to say that. You have not studied the other religions. I can give a talk. I can give you quotations from the Vedas, quotations from Hindu scriptures, quotations from the Bible, which goes against humanity. I'm not here to criticize any religion. If you have not studied any religion, please don't say anything which you have no knowledge of. Quran says, Fas alu ahl zikri in kuntum la ta'alamun. Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 43, Surah Ambiya chapter 21 verse number 7. You are not a student of comparative religion, so please don't make comments without knowing. I can give you quotations from the Bible against humanity. I challenge you to point out a single verse of the Quran, a single teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is against humanity. So don't tell me every religion says that. Sorry, your knowledge is very weak. What I'm trying to tell you, humanity means, okay, you're in standard two. I am talking about not only passing school, not only graduation, you have to become postgraduate. Islam means higher level. Only humanity is low level. No Muslim can be a good Muslim unless he's a good human. I challenge you to point out a single teaching of Islam which is against humanity. You may not be knowing the logical background, the logical reason why Islam has prescribed that teaching, and you may think it is against humanity. Like I would say, oh, doctor is giving me injection, it is poking me. But that injection is good for you. You know, doctor is cutting up my tummy. He's cutting up my tummy to save your life. So doctor knows, you don't know. If I have two choices, okay, passing standard two or three, or doing post-graduation, I would prefer post-graduation. Why only standard two and three? Humanity is good. But Islam is far superior than that. Regarding a question, I am endorsing Islam, because I was born in a Muslim family, I told you, I challenge you, if anyone proves to me any other religion, I've studied most of the major religions, and I think Islam is the most logical, the best religion for humanity. It is the only religion which has the solution for humanity. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the dina in the la islam the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. And for your information, your argument is so weak. Do you know, out of more than 30 scholars that we have from different parts of the world, more than 10, they were not born in a Muslim family. Do you know that? I'd like you to answer this question. Do you know that? Out of 30 people speaking from the stage, more than 10, they were not born Muslim. Do you know that? Sir, I attached maybe. I'm that asking maybe you a question. Do you know that? No, yes I don't or no? know that. So that means the whole argument falls down. Out of the 30 people speaking from different parts of the world, more than 10 are from America, four are from Canada, few are from UK, we are from Malaysia, we have a couple from Saudi Arabia, from UAE, from Somalia, from Sudan, and more than 10, they were born in non-Muslim families. They grew up. Some accepted Islam in the teenage, some accepted Islam in the 20s, some in 30s. And Allah gave them Hidayah. They are Muslims by choice. So your logic that because we are born in Muslim family, therefore I'm endorsing. These people weren't born in Muslim family. They were born in Christian family. They were born in non-Muslim family. Yet they're endorsing Islam. Why? Because they have studied. They have studied other religions and they found Islam is the best way of life. What I request you, you study humanity and study Islam. And try and find out what point in Islam is against humanity. Then you'll come to know that the best religion, I'm not asking a religion, I'm asking you to accept the best religion. And the best way of life, the only solution for humanity is Islam. Thank you. Wow, wow. Such an amazing discussion over here. And uh, the question was actually really, really good. Like, um, imagine you being born in a Christian family, or maybe you being born in a, a Muslim family. Of course, you'll want to endorse your, your religion. And 
I think everybody out there will want to defend their religion, but it will come down to to a point where when you start growing, you realize there's something missing. There's some portals in, in, in probably your religion or probably what you believe in and stuff like that. So you tend to like go out and figure out which one is the right religion. You get it? But um, in the most cases, like, like in the most cases, most of the people will tend to, to actually defend their religion. You get it? It's just like when you have a child. You'll want to defend your child, even if your child went out there and and beat another child. You'll always defend your child. You get it. You always want to 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 like uh, make sure that your child is not uh, being uh, prosecuted or maybe being beaten up because he has beaten another child. So it's just like a human instinct. You get it. Protective instinct, which I think also applies in in, in religion, because. Right now, if you go to a staunch Christian, he will tell you like Christianity is the best religion ever. Today, when you go to a staunch Islam, he's going to tell you Islam is the best religion ever. When you go to a staunch uh, Buddhist, he will tell you Buddhism is the best. You get it. So, um, what what I believe in is I believe in the truth. You get it. I believe like um, uh, the religions we have today. They preach the truth, you get it, but the followers, or maybe the people who are, let's say for example Christianity, like, yeah, Christianity is a very good religion, you get it, but I think their followers are not actually um, sticking to what the Bible actually teaches at some point, you get it, because there's some things that in the Bible says, but you'll find out the followers are not doing it, and I'm not saying like every follower of Christian, or, or sorry, of Christianity doesn't do exactly what the Bible says, I mean, there are some people who actually follow what the, the Bible does, and also this goes to also other religions like Islam, not every uh, Muslim person out there follows exactly what the Quran says, you get it, so, I mean, uh, to come to a point where we start di differentiating between your religion, my religion, and your religion, my religion, I think um, uh, there's there's a sense of uh, I don't know. I don't want to say it in a, in a in a bad way, but I feel like it's 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 somehow trying to tell other people like. Your religion ain't shit. You understand? Like, sorry to say that, but your religion ain't anything. You see, my religion is the best religion, and I'll show you why. But the best thing I like about the Islam community is that the amount of of, of knowledge they have for their religion and the way they carry themselves and the way they put it out there is so authentic in a way that it, it, it actually aligns to 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 what the Quran says, you get you, you get my point. As opposed to to probably some few religions out there who are not actually aligned the same way the Islamic people are aligned to their to their Quran or something like that. That's where I give them like uh, you know hands down. You get it? Because um, I wouldn't want to say like it's the best religion, but I'll say like they are religious people. They follow the the. The Quran, they pray five times, they, you know, all these kind of things. You, you find uh, they are so peaceful uh, people, you get it? Despite the fact the Americans want to paint a bad picture about the Islam community, they are very good people. They, they are very, very, uh, they help each other, you understand? They have a helping hand. And the unity they have among themselves is just amazing compared to the religions that are out there. Um, I'm talking to my own pers uh, on my own perspective when it comes to let's say christianity not everybody is like uh united you get it? like let's unite together and help each and every person out there you get it or let's help our brothers out there you understand because i've experienced both religions in terms of i have friends who are muslims i have friends who are hindus i have friends who are christians and i i i i came to a conclusion that the muslim friends are kind of more united and they are, they have this brotherhood and they they kind of take care of themselves they 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 follow they they are there to you get it which is really amazing but it doesn't mean that other religion are not good religion it doesn't mean that other religion are not the best religion 
um, I believe all religions are good religions. I think maybe down the line people start falling off. People started falling off. Instead of following what the Bible says, people started going their own way. Maybe they realized, maybe they realized, maybe the Bible was altered several times. That's why they are going out of their way. You get it. But anyway, guys, such a lovely discussion over here. The guy was actually had a good point because you can imagine you being born in a like me being born in a Christian family. I don't have a choice. Like when I'm born like this. I'm a Christian already, you get it? So you're raised in a Christian background where you have to stick to their norms, stick to their, um, stick to their behaviors and all those kind of things. But again, I think uh, when you're growing up, you have a choice to choose which religion you want to go to. But the problem is when you start, when you start, when you start having that choice that you want to go to another religion, the, uh, maybe your parents who've been raising you to be a Christian, they start looking at you in a different way. You get it. For example, you're in Islam and you've been in, uh, you've been going to madrasa the whole time since when you're young, and then you reach an age of probably 18 years old, and you feel like Christianity is the best religion, and then you switch religions. Uh, I feel um, I had friends of mine who were telling me they will actually denounce you as their as their son or daughter if you change religions or probably if you happen to marry <laughs> out of um, Islamic uh, covenant or something like that you get it but anyway all these things is just a way of separation anyway but I believe that one day we will find the light and we will actually know that uh, which one what is the truth and um, we will eventually, the truth is going to come out. Eventually, the truth is going to come out. A lot of people are waking up now and they've realized a lot of things that are not correct. And a lot of people, a lot of people are trying to fix it. But anyway, such a nice discussion over here. If you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down my comment section. Or don't forget to go down our comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about this discussion over here. And tell me what you feel about my reaction. And if you have any comments just go down on our comment section just let me know uh about the whole situation about you know being born in in a religion that your parents are in just let me know and just let's have a discussion what do you think do you think people should have a choice when you're young or do you think that we should be labeled to have a religion when we are young i think both ways is okay but as you grow they should let you choose because it's your choice to become islam it's your choice to become a christian it's your choice to become a Juda Ju judaism or whatever the religion it is i believe uh, people have choices anyway thank you so much and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least I'm going to see you, or rather we're going to see you in the next video, and peace out.